Once the trap is sprung, the trappers enter the trap itself and transfer the birds into large boxes. The birds are then consolidated into a single box for shipping. Birds are often kept in camp in large cages for weeks while more parrots are captured. The greys are then transported by car on rudimentary roads for about two to four days to get to the exporting city, and from there they are generally flown to Europe and Asia. As many as half of the birds die between capture and the city of export. Trapping and export of greys is still legal from many African countries. In the case of Cameroon, the quota is currently 12,000 birds per year. Although it's natural to find these images disturbing and to feel that the trappers should be stopped, it's worth bearing in mind where the demand for these birds comes from, the people who desire the birds as pets. We in the developed countries are the ones who are ultimately responsible for creating the incentive for the trappers. If Africans didn't have a market where they could sell these birds, they simply wouldn't trap them in the first place. What can you do to help? We can think of three ways that you can help save the wild greys. The director of the newly established national park in Cameroon, Dr. Leonard Usongo, has submitted a proposal to the World Parrot Trust for support of his anti-poaching work. This site, called Lobeke National Park, is supposedly protected, but Dr. Usongo lacks adequate funds to protect the gray parrots from poachers. He estimates that about 15,000 birds are still trapped here each year, despite his best efforts to protect them. About half of these die between the wild and the exporting city. The Trust has pledged $6,000 this year to help pay for his anti-poaching guards, but Usongo needs many times this to completely shut down the parrot poaching in the reserve. All donations to the Trust's African Grey Conservation Fund will be allocated to this effort. The second way you can help is to seriously consider visiting one of these spectacular sites as an ecotourist. As many of you have visited parrot sites in South America know, tourism can be a powerful force for conservation because it protects wildlife and it creates jobs for local people at the same time. We at the Trust are working hard to establish a trip to this very clearing which will be safe enough and spectacular enough for ecotourists. The third way you can help is to support our campaign to ban the importation of all wild-caught parrots into the European Union. While we would like to shut down the trade in wild-caught birds everywhere, right now the most feasible way to move forward is to work on this issue country by country, region by region. A similar effort was successful in the U.S in the early 1990s, something called the Wild Bird Conservation Act. If we can get similar laws passed in Europe, we'll cut the demand for wild-caught birds in half. That would save many tens of thousands of these beautiful creatures in their natural habitat each year. Please visit our website and sign the wild-caught bird petition. What we're working towards is a future where all of these animals can live in the wild without fear of being captured and without suffering the horrible and dangerous experience of exportation, only to live out their lives in a small cage. For the cost of dinner and a movie, your donation will help save 10 or more of these fabulous wild birds. And working together through the Grey Conservation Fund, we can save tens of thousands of wild greys each year. On behalf of the World Parrot Trust, thank you for taking the time to learn about gray parrots flying free in Africa and for doing what you can to help them stay wild.
Africa cock back in the whole yard. Africa be a Africa oh. Africa, my fair for 